guys, so with Aubrey's party coming up, I have a lot to get done, and so I thought I'd bring you along as I just get some things done this evening. It's just a random Tuesday during the week, but we have our party coming up, and I have a lot of extra frosting from making Aubrey's cupcakes, so let me show you how they turned out. So I just packaged up some of these guys. I'll pop this open so you can see what it looks like besides seeing it through plastic. We have our little cupcakes. I have some chocolate ones as well with the chocolate frosting and then the yogurt covered raisins. I just think they turned out so cute. So had I known that this is, you know, the cupcakes I would have been making for her birthday party this year, I definitely would have picked up some of those like Cadbury eggs um, that are just like, they look like pastel colored with like speckles and it's just chocolate on the inside. I would have totally purchased those, froze them around Easter time so that I could do that, you know, top these cupcakes with those eggs. But I do think that these yogurt covered raisins are like the next best thing. They look like little eggs and they really pop off the chocolate frosting. But now that these cupcakes have been frosted, I actually have to frost another cake for a party I'm gonna host like way in the future. Uh, like I've mentioned many times on my channel, you can actually make and freeze cakes. Just the components, you can make frosting ahead of time. You can make all the cupcakes ahead of time, which is actually what I did for Aubrey's birthday is like I made everything ahead of time and they last for a really long time. So when I was making these vanilla cupcakes, I just made a whole bunch of the cake batter and, you know, made some of these other cake layers that I knew I was going to eventually frost. And now that I have tons of chocolate frosting, I am ready to do that. And I totally forgot to introduce myself for anybody who is here that is new. My name is Emily. This is my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I am kind of entering my party prepping season. So my daughter's birthday kind of kicks off the party preps. And then two months later is like my husband's birthday and Thanksgiving. And then two months later is my birthday and my son's birthday. So lots of party preps once my daughter's party comes around and I try to go as all out as I can without going crazy. <laughs> One thing that really helps is doing a lot of things ahead of time, which is what I've been doing. And I'm going through my checklist of like all the things I wanna get done for the party, slowly checking them off so that when the night before and the day of the party comes, I'm really just doing things that had to be done last minute instead of doing stuff that I could have done way before. So anyways, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's get decorating this cake. I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota South of Salt Lake, Colorado calls to me, and Washington will always be begging for a piece of me to stay. Maybe some things never change, but I wanna know how it feels to hang pictures on a wall. Coast. Climb the trees of 
Cause I feel it more the further that I get So the wheels are pointed west Till I know how it feels to hang pictures on a wall Sleep in the same bed at night I want reasons to stay I want someone to take up my time Miss me when I Okay, so that cake is finally done. It's oh, actually, I think Jack is saying it's bedtime. So we're gonna get these kids I'm to bed. To yeah, come on over here, Bubby. Why don't you tell us? Hmm? Come here. Oh, that home. Say, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. Yeah, and what else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got to get him to bed. Huh? Go night night. And brush your teeth. Ah, ah, ah. I want to go play the party Monday, day, day. Oh. Monday, day. You don't want to go day, day? I don't be called baby tune. Oh. I do day, day. I'm gone. Can mommy, and daddy. can mommy try talking now? Abby. Aubrey. Jack. And Jack. And mommy. And mommy. And daddy. And daddy. And Abby. And Aubrey. And, and Jack. Okay. <laughs> well, something. <laughs> All right, well, something we've been trying to do for bedtime is we actually hold a little candle that Aubrey decorated in her art class. Oh, my God. Fake. And, of course, it's fake. But, <laughs> but the kids enjoy, like, having their special days at, like, it's my turn to hold the candle while we pray, and then they pass it back and forth. So that's something else that we're going to be doing. But then we will be just kind of cleaning up and getting ready for this party. Okay, the kids are in bed and it's time to get back to cleaning. I have been making ice all day in preparation for our party. So I just, I don't, I've never been one to like go to the grocery store and buy a big bag of ice. My mom just taught me, start collecting it early, collect your own and then you're good. So I've been using this machine to kind of make some because I've been giving a lot of our other ice and ice blocks to the chickens because it's been so hot here. So I figured since we have this ice machine, might as well use it to prep for the party. So I'll probably be filling this bag up with this little batch. This is my second bag and we have a few days out from the party. So if I just keep this up every day, hopefully we will have more than enough and then we'll have this running during the party as well so that people have ice in their drinks but I'm gonna bag this up and then I guess leave this out on the counter because I'll be doing this again tomorrow.
Okay, so that has been put in the freezer, bagged up. This is ready for tomorrow. I'm not gonna have it on all night because that's just wasting electricity of having them ice and melt and then make again. But I'm gonna move on to this area now. I'm gonna start the dishwasher because that is pretty much full. I'm gonna hand wash all these other things and then I have to get to these eggs back here. They're overflowing. I think I might actually still have one outside I need to go get. I saw one of our white hens in the nesting box, like close to bedtime. But, you know, we're overflowing and we're gonna get another more than half a dozen tomorrow. So I need to get these guys washed and prepped for our party. I will probably be hard boiling eggs tomorrow in preparation. You guys will hear all about that in my party prep. So we'll deal with this and then just a quick tidy of the rest of the room and that's gonna be our night. You do not have to be good. Even the best of us have been misunderstood. So get up on your feet The sun is shining repentance through the rain Its rays will wash you clean I'm walking slowly I'm taking my time All I like to talk is starting to run, letting go of lonely, letting go of strife. I just can't get enough of this beautiful life. I just can't get enough of this beautiful life. I have to be known Even the best of us Have sometimes felt alone This hole is your home So reach out your branches Lay your roots back to the soil And watch the rain help If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.